Okay, welcome to the video. And I thought in this video we'd just look at some circuit board copper. So I've just pulled this out of a top box. Now what went wrong with this top box? I suspect this capacitor. I don't know if you can see it, but it's blown on the top. So that's what I suspect happened to this. Anyway, what can we see here? We can see transformer here, transformer here. Got loads of these little transformers over up here as well. Oops, one on this bit in my... That's my, uh, it's screwed it there. Okay, so, because I'm able to do this, I know. That's where it goes with single wires, that does. And my connection, I will throw in my scrap pile. I'll sort that out in a second. Anyway, so we've got a couple of things we can do here. Put it in the oven, all these capacitors will blow up. If we put them in the oven, we'd have to rip them off first. This is not a high grade board, so for this one. All right, to just cut straight into it to get what we want. And there we go. Small transformer. Would want to do that. Same on the other one. None of this, I don't want any of this on here. There's no flat flat back chips or nothing. And there we go, another transformer. Beat that up in a minute. I also want this extruded. Some of these capacitors and the MOSFET. So that can go in my scrap bin. That's for my scrap bin. Scrap bin. Capacitor in there, scrap bin. I'll just quickly get selective. Okay. Okay, so we separated that. And we got some copper off it, but other things we'll find are the copper donuts. Now inside here is a metal ring. And there's two ways of doing these. This one looks a bit thick. So I'll smash it with a hammer on the floor. And sometimes you get these thin ones and you can just hit them with your cutters. Okay. And then I'll just unwind it. So that will go in the scrap pile because it is magnetic. And this will go in my number two bag. Okay. And there you go. So that's the donuts. So we cut the side open on that one and we'll smash this one with a hammer. Give me a second. Now when you smash things with a hammer, grab it with something. See how flat and squished it is. Okay, so we need to get into this one now. Mm. 
Now, this will be sharp, by the way, so... best you can I suppose, cut it off. put this in my number one because there's a there's some sort of coating on it okay Sometimes we struggle. <clears throat> Always the way. Okay, so that's just soldered together. one so I guess I'll brush off it number two anyway there's always gonna be a bit of junk on it okay. off now. I mean look oh, I've got a magnet there so as you can see magnetic okay Two. Okay, another thing you find on your circuit boards are these couple of spoils. I just unwind them actually once you got them off. And again, the middle is magnetic, so that can go in and just throw in your scrap pile. Copper. You usually don't have to worry too much about that. Okay. So the copper donuts and the copper spoils I will take the time to do. So then we got things like our fans. Okay. These are not worth doing. Look at this. Okay, it's going to take you so long to get that off, it's just not worth doing. Okay, throw them in your motors. As you can see here, you think, oh no, it's, it's just going to take you ages to get off. Absolutely ages. I have tried, <clears throat> but uh, it's just too, time, too much time consuming. So they'll put it in their crusher machine. It'll turn it all into mincemeat. And they'll get their copper granules from it. You know, so there you go. Another one there, exactly the same. Of course, I'd take the cut the wires off and put them in my singles. There you go. Oh, that fell. Hold on. Okay, so when you're chasing copper, naturally you're going to get laptops inside your CD, DVD drives. 
you have your circuit board and all that lot. But your CD, DVD, you're going that, and as you can see, there's a nice looking copper in there. But again, cutting all these ends off to put it off, it's just a real big pain. So you've got these. You know, there's no weight there, you know, so it's, it's not worth it. And inside here, you also get these little motors, these copper spools, and I. Again, them ones, I'm just going to throw in with the motors as well. Okay. So, you know, it can be a bit time consuming with all these. I mean, there's still loads more to do. Uh, so. Connection blocks here. Uh, connection box on your circuit boards. As you can see, we had a connection here. So that connection, as you can see, I've cut the wires. That's gonna go in my scrap pile. I'm not gonna get the brass out of that. It's not worth it. <clears throat> but this, as you can see on the inside, there is copper, so that'll be taken apart. There may even be some um, silver dots. There we go, got there in the end. Silver dots may be in there. And as you can see, capacitors there. So I'm going to crack on. And, uh... Last thing is, there's um, transformers. Now, this is another one that's up to you. You know, they can be, it's very, very small, some of these. So you can just throw these in, you can click around, but some of them I have opened before and there's just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of copper in it. Obviously, so you have to crack them open and see how you want to proceed, like with the different sizes. <coughs> and they have to be tested as well. Uh, so transformers we're going to do in another video. And I'll, this is just a quick one. Circuit board copper. Like, share, subscribe.